सर आई राइज टू प्रेजेंट द बजट फॉर द ईयर 1984-85। द बजट हैज बीन फॉर्मुलेटेड अगेंस्ट द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग रिकवरी इन नेशनल इनकम एंड एग्रीकल्चर एंड एन इक्वली इम्प्रेसिव इम्प्रूवमेंट इन आवर बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स दीज एंड अदर डेवलपमेंट्स इन द इकोनॉमी हैव बीन कवर्ड इन डिटेल इन द इकोनॉमिक सर्वे प्रेजेंटेड टू द हाउस ए कपल ऑफ डेज अगो आई शेल देर फोर बी ब्रेफ इन रिव्यूइंग द करेंट इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन इन ऑर्डर टू फुलफिल आवर सोशल कमिटमेंट्स एंड प्रोटेक्ट जॉब्स गवर्नमेंट हैड टू टेक ओवर ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सिक यूनिट्स एंड सस्टेन दैम थ्रू इंजेक्शन ऑफ फ्रेश रिसोर्सेस वाइल सम ऑफ दैम हैव टर्न द कॉर्नर ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ दैम कंटिन्यू टू इंकर लॉसेस द टाइम हैज कम टू अंडरटेक ए केयरफुल रिव्यू ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ सिक यूनिट्स इन द पब्लिक सेक्टर with a view to reducing the drain on our resources this the government proposes to do economic viability must be the principal test for the survival of an enterprise honorable members will recall that when our government took office in january 1980 an important task before us was to revitalize the planning process and to give a new thrust to the programs of development i am happy to say that in the last 4 years we have been able to achieve an unprecedented increase in the tempo of public investment within this aggregate plans of individual states show a varied picture some states have managed their finances well they have been able to raise additional resources and effectively utilize these to implement adequately sized plans providing development and growth to their people unfortunately some states for reasons of their own have used their resources for various other purposes they have not invested their resources including additional resources mobilized for development and have also resorted to large overdrafts on the rbi unfortunately despite these measures some states continued to rely heavily on overdraft even after march 1982 their proposed deficits at the end of march 1984 would have harshly affected the size of their plans if these deficits were adjusted against next year's plans as per normal practice in considering the ways of overcoming this problem i have found myself in a predicament on the one hand no finance minister of the country can remain unconcerned about the size of a state's plan on the other hand if assistance is extended to defaulting states the well managed states can legitimately complain that they have not got their just rewards from the center for their better performance for those states which have managed their finances well i am working out a suitable scheme to provide some additional assistance to them in 1984-85 this is only just and appropriate mr speaker sir i am sure that the house will agree with me that despite severe resources constraints of its own the central government has done the maximum that it can to solve the state's problems the rest however is up to them in the last 4 years the present government introduced a number of schemes for the benefit of the weaker sections of the society particularly in the rural areas these include the integrated rural development program the national rural employment program and the two new programs announced by the prime minister on 15th august 1983 namely the rural landless employment guarantee program and the scheme for providing self employment opportunities to the educated unemployed each of these 
programs is designed to create opportunities for employment and income generation for particular target groups while also creating productive assets. Finally, I should mention that the incentive schemes for better performance in selected areas initiated in 1983-84 will continue in 1984-85 also. As the House is aware, these schemes are designed to improve the functioning of the electricity boards and provide further impetus to the programs for small and marginal farmers, rural water supply schemes, environmental improvement in urban slums, construction of field channels in command area, development projects, and adult education for women and elementary education for girls. A lump sum provision of rupees 200 crores is being made for this purpose. Lest the honorable members take me to be a musician who can do so much with so little, I hasten to clarify that the incentive scheme is designed to provide additional resources linked to performance for specified schemes. There are, of course, also separate substantial allocations for each of these schemes. I have only briefly touched upon the main priorities and objectives of the annual plan for 1984-85. In order to provide the maximum possible outlay for the seventh five-year plan, I have taken special care to ensure that non-plan expenditure is kept at the minimum. However, certain increases in this expenditure are necessary and unavoidable.